Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Wear, and today we have another paracord tutorial. This one's another bracelet, and I am naming it Bowser's Purple Castle Paracord Bracelet. I know, it's a great name. So for this, you're gonna need about eight feet of purple with silver stripes, two feet of red with black stripes, and two feet of emerald green. You're also gonna need a buckle. There will be a link to that in the description. The first thing you're gonna do is take your two shorter cords, so the two feet of each cord, the green and red, and you're just gonna clip the ends of those and then melt them together. Make sure you have a pretty good seal on there and try to make sure it's pretty flat. Then you take the two ends of those cords and then run them down through the buckle. Then you're gonna measure that loop around your wrist. You wanna make sure it overlaps the buckle just a little bit. Then you're gonna take your right back strand and pull it through that loop towards yourself and off to the right. Then you're gonna take the end of that and run it up through the buckle. Then it's gonna go down through that loop and then you're gonna tighten it. Now do the same with the left side. Take that back left strand and pull it towards yourself and off to the left side. Then it's gonna go up through the back of that buckle and then down through that loop and tighten that. Then you're gonna wrap those cords around and they're gonna go down through the top of the buckle. You want those cords to be the same length as that middle loop. Then you take the back right strand and it's gonna go towards yourself through that loop and off to the right side. You're gonna take that back left strand and pull it through that loop towards yourself and then off to the left side. Then the same thing, it's gonna go towards yourself through the back of the buckle and then down through that loop and tighten that. And it's gonna go up through the back of that buckle and then down through that loop and tighten that. You're then gonna to wanna to try it around your wrist and make sure it is the right size. Go ahead and pull those two strands towards the back of the buckle and clip those and melt them. Now you're gonna add in your purple cord. So you're gonna go ahead and find the center of that cord, then take the right side and pull it under those two right strands. And then you're gonna take that same right side and wrap it around going over the two right strands and under the two left strands. And you're gonna kinda of pull that up to the top and make sure it's tight. You're gonna take that top strand and you're gonna wrap around the bottom strand in front of those two left strands and then behind the two right strands, then tighten that. As you tighten that, you have to make sure that you hold on to that left strand. Then you're gonna take your left strand and it is gonna go down and behind those two left strands and then in front of the two right strands, then tighten that. 
And now you're in kind of the same situation that you were earlier, just on the other side. So you're gonna take that top strand and it's gonna go around the bottom strand, behind the two right strands, and above the two left strands. Then pull it off to the left. Once again, take the right strand, pull it down in front of the two right strands, behind the two left strands, and off to the left side. And then you're gonna restart the pattern. So you're basically gonna do that pattern until you get all the way down to the bottom. Once you get to the point where you can fit almost no more, you're just gonna take that one strand that's off by itself, and you're gonna pull it around the back, then pull it through that last bottom strand there, and then tighten that. After you do that, you're just going to want to clip both of those purple strands and then singe those. And then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As you may know, I just launched my store a few days ago and I'm selling paracord bracelets, key fobs, and lanyards. If you want to check it out, there will be a link in the description. If you guys decide to buy something from there, it does help me out a lot. It allows me to make more tutorials. But if you're not interested in buying something, still check out the website because the main website has nothing to do with buying anything. There's a separate store page. The main website just kind of has to do with the channel. And it's kind of cool, so if you guys want to check it out, there will be a link in the description. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.